Motorhead Garage, the program that each week introduces you to and shows you how to install the latest in exciting and innovative products for your vehicle. Motorhead Garage is presented by NHOU Protective Coatings. Now here's your host, Dave Dobson. Welcome to another edition of Motorhead Garage presented by NHOU Protective Coatings. Now we've got all these tools in the toolbox, but one of the most useful and coolest tools we have is clamp tight. It'll replace your hose clamps, and we'll show you how. If you haven't seen clamp tight before, you're in for a good education here. And if you have seen it, but you haven't been convinced, I think we're going to win you over here. Nikki, you are the expert on clamp tight, so give us the basic overview of, of what it is. Clamp tight is a tool that makes hose clamps out of wire. It's a 360 degree seal with no flat spots. You can use it on almost everything under the hood of the car, around the house, boat. It's an extremely versatile tool. Some of the best things that you can use it on too is CV boots, so power steering lines. You can use it as a reducer if you need to. Wiring boosts, so which tend to blow off most of the time because the hose clamps that you're using typically do flatten it out and blow off due to the vibration. The great thing too about it is you're using round wire and you're also pushing and pulling on the wire so it's creating equal pressure all the way around. So that instead of obviously your other hose clamps that have edges which will cut through especially on those delicate CV boots, it's going to eventually cut through you're going to break whatever you're working on and now your complete replacement there. It's a better way to do things. It's also better looking mm -hmm. and we know a lot of hot rodders that want to use these on their cars but they want to give it the old look so they slide the old hose clamp over it incognito there. Yep, slide it right over top. So now you're back to your original but you know it's being held properly underneath for sure. And it looks complicated but it's actually pretty easy to do sure. so run us through the procedure. Here. You got it. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your wire. What I do is just bring the ends together, make a loop, feed your ends, through that loop. Now one time around is great for just, you know, attaching something, but pretty much anything you're going to run pressure through, what you want to do is go around at least two times. And, so, and how long does the wire need to be in the first place? Yeah, what you're going to do is you measure around your project four times and add 12 inches. Okay. So that gives you the enough wire that you need for the double wrap clamp. So we go through, make sure you're not cross twisted or overlapped. Now take the tool, feed the nose through the loop, then you're going to wrap it around, twist it together. There's a little notch at the bottom of the tool. That loop's going to slide right in there. Then you just start turning. So as I said, what it's doing is it's pushing and pulling on that wire. And you don't have to worry about it over twisting the wires like safety wire pliers would and causing it a weak spot and causing it to break. So you don't have to worry about that. The tool's going to tell you when it's getting tight, you're going to feel it. So it's actually going to start getting a little harder to turn. One of the things you want to look for, too, is you want to start getting nice and flush. So the wires are also going to get inside of that barbed if you're working with a barbed fitting. So it's going to give that complete seal. And a seal all the way around, which is all what the hose clamps around. aren't going to give you. Absolutely. So now when it's tight enough, you're ready to close it off. Flip it 180 degrees. If you don't have that much space, just past 90 is all you need. We're going to go all the way. Loosen it. Pull the tool back. Simply cut it. Push the ends down. Nice, clean, no cut and hose clamps. What was that? Nice and mm -hmm. smooth. I've cut my, myself on so many hose <laughs> clamps, and this is so refreshing just to, it's just to have that. It's just a nice, clean, nice custom hose clamp. It's the right size every time. And tons of applications. We'll show you a practical application now that we know how to use it. Now, Kevin's over here on the ATV, and uh, Kevin, what you got working here? Well, obviously, this owner's a clamp type fan already. He used it on his grip to make sure it didn't come off, and we know that's a real problem, them sliding off. Yeah. See how nice and clean that is, and he's not cutting his hands up. Simple solution. So down here on the radiator hose, I've already fixed the top one, and I've already got my clamp all ready to go here on the bottom, so I'm just going to go ahead and tighten it up. And we saw the way that looked, by the way, beforehand with, with both hose clamps on it. They were getting kind of tired, and it doesn't create a, a great seal around there anyway, so now we're going to take care of that problem. Absolutely. So I'm out snug and tight. I'm going to go ahead and flip that over. Back my tool off. And then cut that off. And then press that down. And that is our brand new hose clamp. Nice seal, 360 degrees, no flat spots. And if we want to fire it up, we'll turn this baby on here. And there we go. No issues with that. I love it. And it's great too because if you're out there on the trails, 
you're not bringing hose clamps with you to make any repairs on a high pressure line or anything like that, but you bring a little coil of wire and your clamp tight tool and you're ready to go. The clamp tight will get you back on the road, it'll get you back on the trail, back in the air. There's all kinds of applications for it. You can learn all about them at clamptighttools.com. We will return with more Motorhead Garage presented by NHOU Protective Coatings in just a few.